What's up everybody? The Vamp Man is back. We're playing some more Fallout, but we're actually looking at mods this time. Uh, I have no idea if that's a mod. There's little backpack cannons. They shoot out nukes, so uh, I have no idea if that's a mod. But what we're going to look at today is the the Doom armor, which I'm going to be honest. I find the f I find the fact the value is six 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 is a nice little touch. I like that. But there's actually six. Yeah. There are six versions of this armor. And they actually look really good. Um, I actually quite like it. So that's BHS, which I'm guessing is Brotherhood of Steel. Cosplay. Uh, just looks a wee bit greener. Yeah. Once Cosworth moved out the way. Cosworth. <laughs> it definitely looks a lot more greener. Damaged. Uh, what can we see? Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm having a bit of a Bit of a hard time trying to work out where the damage is. Maybe it's just that wee bit above the red button. Cosworth. Cosworth, can you please get out of the way? You're blocking my light. Institute. Nope. I don't know what the damage one was. I'll need to have a look at that properly. I actually like the, the Institute one. Pristine. That's a pricey one. Right, we'll go vault Tech first. I look like a Power Ranger. Right, pristine. This is what we're leaving on. But I'll leave the description in the... Leave the description? Eh... I will leave the mod details in the description. We got that one finally. But I'm also in... Sentinel site Prescott, yes? I'm at the Sentinel site. Monsters. That's an R mod. But in this place we can find the Type 2 Star Trek Phaser. Which we will find in here. So it's at the very bottom of a shaft, and there it is. Hell yeah. Now I do know there is a few issues with this. I have tried it before. Uh, it didn't give me any ammo. So there is a way around this. So let's get the phaser. Uh, as you can see, missing ammo. Now, does this work? If I just drop it and then pick it back up? No. Okay, we need to take a wee trip to Sanctuary. 
because the way I somehow managed to get this worked was I made a new phaser, dropped both phasers and then it all kind of worked. So, move to location, Commonwealth, S, Sanctuary. Well, we're going a very sci-fi route today. That was the Doom armor. We're now looking at the Type 2 phaser. I need to work out where the Type 1 phaser is. That's in here somewhere. And a weapon from Galaxy Quest. So we'll... I think the Type 1 phaser might be around that area as well. So... Why is it dark every time I come here? God damn. Hey, right, phasers. I can build that in here if I remember rightly. Yep. No. Let's just make sure. Huh? Error. No, oh, it's making a power pack. Wrong phaser. I was making the wrong phaser. Damn it. Right, so I need fusion cores. Now, where is fusion cores? There we go. A thousand of them will do me nicely. Only needed one, but screw it. I've now got ninety nine, nine nine nine. Right. So I now have two phasers. If I go into this, it's saying I have three, but I can't shoot. So drop, drop, pick up, pick up. And fire. Ah, oh, such a complicated way of doing things. But this phaser is actually really good as well. Uh, you can change the settings in the aid option. Is it aid? Yes. Alright, so I've pushed that four times and it's now up to 144. Let's go to the max. One thousand two hundred and seven. But it's now at level sixteen, so that's a very powerful phaser. But I won't do jack shit against him. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I don't know where we could test us. In fact, well, <laughs> well, I remember. We'll quick save. Where is the Atom Cats? Edgy fingers, that's all I've got. So, where is the Atom Cats? That's what I'm now trying to work out. Alright, we'll go here. 
I actually can't remember where this is. Or what this is, actually. But I do know how deadly this weapon is. It, uh, it has broke my game in the past. Hey, I'm at the Atticats. Right, so where's Macho Man Deathclaw? Give me a. I want good aim at you. And pop. He's gone. That is a unbelievably strong phaser. In fact, we'll test it one more time. I think this is the Brotherhood of Steel. I think. It's been that long since I've actually explored the map. Yep. Gone. Gone. Might just be out of the range and fire. Gone. Uh oh. And we have two more. Gone. Gone. <laughs> that is how powerful this gun is. See if you have the Brotherhood of Steel ending. I'm willing to bet this gun would defeat Liberty Prime. Okay. Now, if I remember rightly, the next phaser that we're going to look for is in a comic book store. Now, where's the comic book store? There it is. That is a very clean Mr. Handy. Oh, it's a Miss Nanny. I would not trust a nanny with a bone saw, to be honest. I would not trust that. But that phaser breaks the game. Be warned. And if I remember rightly, there's tons of zombies in here. Which should be... Should be handy. Should be enjoyable if they start attacking. Okay, I'm blacking out. For some reason. Find a comic book. Uh, okay, so this is a ion nebulizer. This is the Galaxy Quest gun, and it looks really nice actually. That I'm quite happy with that actually. So let's get there. Go on, Swarf. Right. Ion. 
Okay, so it actually has ammo. Okay. Where's the stairs in this place? Let's see what it does. Hello? Ah, scrap. We'll do it this way. That actually looks really cool. Guys, worth get out of the way. <laughs> Hello, dog meat. <laughs> no. Is it in here? Yes, it is. Oh, it says it's a type two phaser as well. But this is the original saga, the Captain Kirk. Weapons. Anything in there? Nope. Right, let's have a look at this one now. Uh, okay, it must be that one. Alright, let's find the Nora zombie. Zombie! Wait, turn around for me for a minute. Oh my god, look at your head! What the hell? What have I done to your head? Guys, we're firing these nooks. Oh, that's such a cool sound effect as well. What the? Guys, we've stopped destroying the place. Oh no. Oh, he's right. He's he's incapacitated. He does good. So, do I have unlimited ammo? He's dead. Get down. Where is upstairs? Come on, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. He died as he lived. Silver Shroud script. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh. You can't fit in there, dog. You're trying, but you cannot fit in there. Okay, so we've seen the Doom Guy armor. We have seen the Star Trek phasers. We have seen the Galaxy Quest phaser, I suppose. The Ion. Oh, God. <laughs> Blank. Line, please. Ugh, what was it called again? Ion Nebulizer. 
You know what? I suppose I've got this here as well. Uh, very dark, actually. So we're going to just go back to Sanctuary. Nope, 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 nope. Yes. Go back to Sanctuary, get a wee bit more sunlight, hopefully. And I can show off a couple of more mods, actually. So it's only been 20 minutes, that's... That's actually quite low for what I usually do now. I wonder. It would help if you gave me sunlight game. Where is a chair? I'll take it. Garby, don't dog to me. Why is it with my companions and going straight to my face with a crotch? Okay, how do I release grenade? How to grenade? That's the next question. There we go. I have a horse. And it's rideable. Dum da 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 da. See when you slow it down the walking pace, it actually looks real. I suppose it's the exact same animation as the Brahmins. I think. But it really is quite, quite something. That's quite cool. Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, horsey. My horse disappeared. But we also have the quad bike factory. So let's just craft, uh, let's just go for the Raider one. Go my pretty. And it actually does look really good. Kind of drives like the Warhog. Kinda. In fact, you're just using one thumbstick, really. It is a bit... There's my horse. Where were you? Where'd you go? But well, this does have some frame rate issues. But, drivable vehicles in Fallout 4. I'm not going to say no to that. We also have... let's see... I finally figured out how to get this one to work. This is a weapon mixer. The way you use it is you put a weapon on the inside and upgrade another weapon. That upgrade appears on the weapon and the weapon mixer. Uh, <clears throat> you know Get back in my pocket. So let's let's try and work out what would be good because you'd want weapons that are similar in size and shape.
And I just remember a norm mod I have available that's at the workstation. I mean, what arms have I put? Right, I'm going to take Kellogg's pistol. And this is just me thinking a bit crazy just now. What happens if I take Kellogg's pistol and add... that to it. Whatever I can do with that, let's see what I can do. Right, so I'm going to put Kellogg's pistol in there. Godsworth, please. Uh, flamer. I have no idea what this will do. Sometimes it kind of. This is why I want. This is why I said you need weapons that are kind of in the same size and whatnot. Alright, so it's not really done anything to that. Right. Alright, let's make. Let's get something that's a bit more easy. I know the melee weapons work. Nope, 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 nope. How about a boxing glove? With a power fist. That has to work. Right? I mean, I could also add the extra claw to the to the boxing glove, but I've never tried the power fist. Right, so I'll put that on. Uh, I have no idea what's going to come out of this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, where is it? There it is. Nothing like a cinder block attached to a boxing glove. How much damage does that do? Five hundred and eleven. Although the power fist does do about twelve hundred. Uh, but basically any size that's similar is what you want. So if I was to take if I was to take Damn screen. Right, so if I was to take a uh, Kremlin tooth, and let's put the Ripper. Oops, I didn't want to add an R Ripper. I now have two Rippers. I'm gonna rip you a new one. Where is the rippers? Okay, I think I messed up. I thought I put a ripper in here, but it turns out it, I haven't. I'll right, put the I'll we'll put the power fist in there. So let's see what happens. Uh, 
and now we ha okay <laughs> Uh, I actually want to inspect. Okay, that's. That looks mean. But yeah, that's the weapon mixer. It gives you weird and wonderful. <laughs> uh, contraptions. Hmm. Now, for my next mod, I'm just going to get myself an assault rifle. Uh, sh any weapon. Let's see. I do like these spray and pray. And we are just going to simply find the spray and pray, go to suppressor, and get the cat silencer. I don't know what to say about this, to be honest. It kind of blocks the sight. And if you listen carefully... Yeah. It basically attaches a cat to the end of your gun. Guns that support silencers anyway. But imagine dying to this thing. In fact, we now know how we're going to end this. Find me enemies. Find me enemies. I just wait to see the vats for this, to be honest. Because, uh, there has to be something funny about shooting bullets out of a gun, out of a cat's mouth, through its anus. <sighs> That's a fair amount of mods I've went through a day. If it was a clear. S a clear night, you'll be able to see the other one. Which it is not. No, oh, you're not coming back. Ooh. Okay. Come on, I want the front facing view. That is what I want to see. Ah. It's not giving me what I want. That's annoying. And that's a big ass boat fly. <laughs> Come on, anyone else around here? Yay! <laughs> Level 946.
I was actually quite surprised you could get to that level. Come on, there has to be someone else nearby. I don't think I'm going to get that front facing view. Cosworth liked that. <laughs> you like me shooting bullets through a cat's mouth. <laughs> through his entire body. <laughs> Yeah, hey, it's Quint. Ooh. Uh, this was a a mod showcase, really. You know, how to get them, where to find them, how to use them, how to make them, how to wear them. The mods will be in the description below, hopefully. Hopefully. Oop, oh, I've just gained 7,000 experience. But until next time, from the kit here, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.